From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith with 20 more confirmed coronavirus cases reported by the Ministry of Health for Sunday. The country passed a milestone, more than 12,000 total confirmed cases since the pandemic began. Health officials also confirming that more than 100,000 tests have been carried out overall, which means healthcare workers have been busy for well over a year. Infectious Diseases Program Director Dr. Nakia Forbes fearing that those workers could be reaching the burnout stage. I have to say that the healthcare workers have been battling COVID-19 for more than a year now, and patients can be very sick, and there is risk of burnout. It's very challenging as it relates to the small cadre of healthcare workers that we have in the Commonwealth of Bahamas in the face of an ongoing COVID-19 outbreak that is not being, the curve is not being flattened. Those workers are still busy. There are 43 persons still in hospital being treated for the virus, three in the ICU, a number of active cases still being monitored. 12 of Sunday's cases in the capital, Abaco, Andros, Cant Island, and Exuma also reported cases. The death toll remains at 232. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Different points of view on the extended lockdowns in parts of Andros and Cat Island from the MPs for those areas. Opposition leader Davis is the MP for Cat Island. The science could not be clearer. In order to stop the spread of the COVID-19 virus or any other airborne infectious virus for that matter, you have to separate the people with the virus from the people who don't have the virus. In order to, to do that, you have to test widely. FNM MP Carlton Boleg represents the North Andros area. Here's his view. It is not a, something that is unexpected. We have a rise with cases. Over the past week, we've had about 12 or 14 cases, and we're trying to really lower that. That extended lockdown continues until Monday coming. The Attorney General's office says it plans to appeal that ruling handed down by Supreme Court Justice Grant Thompson, preventing the government from demolishing any other shanty town structures in Abaco as a matter of urgency. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light BPL. Turning partly cloudy tonight, overnight lows from the mid to upper 70s. 75 at Freeport, 76 in the capital, 78 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds 5 to 10 knots, the seas 1 to 3 feet overnight. The next tide is a high around 8 o'clock this evening. Wednesday's forecast, partly sunny, chance of passing showers developing. Highs in the mid-80s, no systems in the tropics. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News headlines authorities in Pakistan trying to determine what caused those two trains to crash into each other, killing close to 70 persons, leaving others injured. U.S. Vice President Harris meeting with Mexican government officials today, trying to find ways to deal with the growing migration problem at the U.S. southern border with Mexico. World leaders now heading to London for this year's G7 summit. They will be discussing a number of matters, including climate change and ending the coronavirus pandemic worldwide. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. On TV tonight, there's soccer. There's always soccer. And Major League Baseball, Jazz and the Marlins opening a series against the Colorado Rockies tonight at home. There is a full schedule of Major League Baseball tonight. DeAndre Ayton and the Suns won their NBA semifinal series opener against Denver last night. Game two is tomorrow night. Tonight, a couple of games, though, Atlanta and Philadelphia in game two of their series. The Clippers open their series against the Utah Jazz. 
John Quillen, the sun off again tonight in the WNBA, not scheduled to play again until Sunday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 